Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you a very popular music video transition and effect. It's called the freeze frame effect and it's been used ever since the Mongolia video or at least that's what I think popularized it. So if you're a fan of Og or Playboy Cardi or a lot of these other rappers, you've probably seen this effect around. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. I have three clips right here. I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this as an effect on one clip and how to use it as a transition between two. So right here, we just have GIFs. I have three of them. I'm probably just gonna use two. This tutorial requires a lot of masking. So if you want to be more efficient with it, you can use Photoshop or you can use the built-in masking features in Premiere Pro. I would personally recommend Photoshop if you have it just because this takes a little bit longer. It's harder to zoom in. It's harder to work with this. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna use Photoshop, but you guys can do whatever you want. You don't even have to use Photoshop. So first off, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this effect within one clip. So you wanna go towards the end of the clip or whatever sort of stands out. So right now he has like his hand up. So I think that's pretty intriguing. Um, so you just wanna make a cut. So press C or just use the razor tool and you can make a cut. So let's say right here, you wanna duplicate that clip. So you wanna hold Alt and drag up to duplicate. Depending if you want to do this in Photoshop, you'll press on this export frame button. So control shift E and you're going to open this up in Photoshop. If not, you're going to right click and press add frame hold and you're going to stretch it out. So right now you can see it just freezes at that point. Um, if you're going to do this in Premiere Pro, you want to use the pen tool and you want to hide this layer until you're done. And you essentially just want to cut out his face. So let's just say we cut it out. Obviously we didn't but let's just connect the points. You can see his face will appear and then you're gonna unhide the track. But I'm gonna be using Photoshop for this. So I'm gonna delete the mask. And instead of this uh, frame hold, I'm gonna import the screenshot. So I'm gonna press on export frame. We're gonna press okay. We're gonna open up Photoshop, boom. So right now I just removed the background. You wanna make sure you also delete like this right in between his face and stuff like that. Um, if you're trying to be exact, you don't have to obviously. So I cut it out. So I'm gonna export it as a PNG. You wanna make sure it's a PNG so there's no background. So Tyler, I'm gonna go back here and we wanna import it. And after that, we basically have our first um, effect. right here right so we're gonna delete the frame hold we're gonna show the background and we want to stretch it toward the beginning um and you want to stretch it until the part where the screenshot is from so the screenshots from this part right here so you can see what that does and what you can also do is apply the effects to the screenshot like you can make it inverted at the end or something like that let's just say you cut toward the end so right before it transitions you'll see a flash like that or you can do that at the beginning you can even play with like duplicates of the, the screenshot so let's just say you offset it a little bit like this i see this a lot So something like that. So that's one way you can do it. The next one I'm gonna show you will essentially show you how to transition between two clips. So right now we got two clips. One's Kanye, one's Tyler, one's Drake. Okay, we don't need Drake. So basically you're gonna start with cutting it out and adding the frame hold, but we won't do it to the first clip, we'll do it to the second clip. So like right here, we wanna cut it. Alt, drag up to duplicate. You can add the frame hold and stretch it out, but I'm gonna screenshot it once again. We're going to open it up in Photoshop. This one's a really low quality. You also want to make sure you rasterize this layer um, or double click on it so that you can remove the background or else it won't let you. So right here we're done. You can see obviously the edges aren't so smooth, but bro, it's almost midnight. So I'm not really trying to finish it that clean. Um, we're going to export as a PNG again. This one's called EA. Then we're going to go back here import it so you can go file import or you can double click it's the same thing 
and we're gonna resize it or uh, we're not gonna resize it we're gonna stretch it out a little bit so right here you can see it matches up and like I mentioned before you want this screenshot to be before the clip where you screenshot it so you want to move this toward the left so that it ends off playing as a video right after the screenshot ends so we're gonna stretch this out it's gonna be like this so that's basically another way you can sort of do this transition uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. I think this is a really clean and easy transition slash effect that you can use. If you guys want more of these, make sure to check out my other videos and comment below what specific video you want. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. <music>